In Cage Match, we take two influential leaders of the world and make them go head-to-head, -head, toe to toe in a real Cage Match series. We see which leaders come out on top when it comes to money, power, and politics to see who will be the last leader standing! On one side of the ring, we have former American President Donald J. Trump, who served as the 45th in the role between 2017 and 2021. In the opposite corner, we have Boris Johnson. No less inclined to fight, serving as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and Conservative Party leader since 2019, though formerly serving as Secretary of State for Foreign Commonwealth Affairs and the former Mayor of London. How do they match up? Just wait and see! Money. In a fair, even fight between Trump's US and Boris's UK, money certainly comes to heavy blows. On the US side in 2020, the US GDP was at about $20.94 trillion, up $2.19 trillion from the 2016 numbers of $18.75 trillion. This is an 11% increase over 2016. However, since leaving office, the numbers have shot up, showing that this increase may have been baked in. <laughs> While the numbers in 2022 have increased by $3.91 trillion, marking 2022's GDP since Trump's departure increased by 18.67%. <laughs> this is a solid comparison to Trump's personal net worth of $3 billion, which includes such assets as a 30% stock in the 1290 Avenue of America's retail space valued at $2.2 billion, golf properties totaling $730 million across the world, a private golf estate in Florida worth $340 million. He also owns hotels and retail locations across the country, and his personal Trump brand, which, including management and licensing, is worth roughly $50 million. These blows come punching back strong, with Boris's personal net worth just $2 million against the UK's substantial $2.708 trillion. This, unlike Trump's numbers, marks a decline since before Johnson took the role of almost 3.4%, down from the previous number of 2.8. Boris has a wide array of his own assets, including an impressive array of luxury cars, like a USD 200,000 Range Rover autobiography, a BMW X5, Audi A6, Mercedes-Benz A-Class, Jaguar F-Pace, and more. He also owns a 6,000-square-foot home on 10 Downing Street worth $6 million, and properties in Oxfordshire and Exmoor. Now, there's still an evenly matched fight for their influence and impact on the country. Boris peaked at the government deficit in 2020 of 12.8%, with inflation at a 40-year high of 91% and an ongoing cost-of-living crisis due to the rising cost of food and energy. Disposable income is set to fall across the country by 2.2%, and the country is projected only to see a 1% growth by 2023, making the UK the lowest-ranked G7 country. Punching back, we have Trump, who increased the national debt of the US by 39%, which was $27.75 trillion and set the debt-to-GDP ratio to hit a post-World War II high. After Trump's impact has been settled, analysis shows that the economy would have grown if not for Trump's intervention. While Boris cut more than one in five civil servant jobs for tax cuts, he promoted rising wages and more skilled work. At the same time, Trump's trade policies and tariffs cost the U.S. a quarter million jobs, reduced income, and negatively impacted natural resources due to rollbacks on clean power 
the Endangered Species Act, oil and gas extraction bans, air toxicity standards, as well as more. In terms of wealth and money, it's a tight match between them. Their personal wealth is directly tied to that of their countries, but the UK is measurably more wealthy than Johnson has been. While both policies have notably negatively impacted their respective economies, they've done so for different reasons. Johnson, under the guise of helping the UK economy, while Trump's motives have been more intrinsically linked. Donald Trump makes just two out of five vanilla scoops, allowing Johnson to surge ahead with four out of five, with a strong lead right out of the gate. Power. Both as elected officials, their ascent to power matches blow by blow. Trump was elected the 45th president in 2016, serving his single term between 2017 and 2021. On the other hand, Johnson was only elected into power in 2019, serving his time until his recent resignation in July of 2022. Both men are out of control, but how they got there was also demonstrably similar. Donald Trump is backed by the conservative Republican Party in the U.S., next to Johnson's similarly aligned conservative party that he's been the leader of since 2019. Where they differ most, however, is in military prowess and strength. The British Armed Forces have a power of 153,290 UK regulars and Gurkhas, 27,420 volunteer reserves, and 8,170 other personnel. The UK's annual military budget is 68 billion, ranking fourth globally. They have 693 aircraft, 119 fighter aircraft, 235 helicopters, 227 tanks, 515 armored vehicles, 89 self-propelled artillery, 126 towed artillery, and 44 rocket projectors. The British Army is one of the most highly regarded, as well as the best equipped troops in the world, and maintains its high standards due to its elite units like the Parachute Regiment or the British Army's Rapid Response Team. In 2022, the UK military was ranked 8th of 142 worldwide. Hitting back hard. The U.S. military holds the top spot as the world's most powerful military. With a budget of $693 billion as of 2019, the currently available manpower is about 1,832,000 total military personnel, broken down into 1,390,000 active and 442 reserves. The U.S. has 6,612 tanks, 45,192 armored vehicles, 1,366 rocket projectors, 1,339 towed artillery, and 1,498 self-propelled artillery. The U.S. military budget is the highest in the world, beating out every other military budget. Admittedly, with a rank, it's easy to compare the two. But all things considered, the U.S. is a military powerhouse, and the U.K. is a tactical weapon. Both leaders are well-matched, having worked their way up the political ladder, though Trump had a much faster trajectory. Boris took power when the previous prime minister stepped down in 2019. For this reason, Trump and Johnson earned three out of five chocolate scoops, ending this round in a tie, with Trump trailing right behind Johnson after the last round. Oh, that one's gotta hurt. Politics. Both politicians were relatively unpopular in their time, but for different reasons, and to other means. Trump settled into his lowest point of approval when he was voted out in 2021, with just 34% approval. Johnson, however, had just a 28% approval and an overwhelmingly 66% disapproval rating as of resignation in 2022. They've both been ousted, though Boris willingly stepped down to resign entirely when he is replaced. On the other hand, Trump was voted out, but willingly was forced to concede, drawing his loss of power out over several turbulent months in the U.S. While Johnson likely will not return to power, Trump could be voted back under the right circumstances, allowing him another four years in office, though not consecutively. Effective to his resignation, Johnson will no longer lead the Conservative Party, as whoever is elected will replace him in office. They both react to and navigate conflicts during their time in office bullishly and often without much forethought. Boris led the march into Brexit, 
and Trump antagonized non-allied countries as often as he did our allies. Boris caused a mass exodus of ministers due to his policies and the UK's trajectory as they pushed him out of office. Meanwhile, Trump egged on a domestic insurrection that is still being investigated and blown open a year and a half later in trials. Their blows draw blood, but neither wants to stop. This KO is hard won on both sides, leaving them both battered and far worse for wear. Corruption for each is unclear, which leaves them on uneven ground. At the same time, Trump's personal holdings are fraught with uncertainty and collections agencies, both from before and during his presidency. Boris seems much more transparent. It's not to say corruption doesn't exist. It's simply not quite as surface level as the former U.S. president. While they're both out of power, Trump still has the potential for re-election. As long as he's not barred from the position as an outcome of the trials or any other litigation, giving him a slight leg up on Johnson. It's not enough to tip the scales too far, as they both earn three out of five strawberry scoops for unpopular terms and uncertainty of political power going forward. Conclusion This cage match featured a lot of back and forths for an even well-matched fight. Johnson squeaks by with just one more scoop than Trump, with a small but decisive lead over the other former leader. It was a down and out, but not an immediate hard KO like others. Johnson seems more aligned with the needs of his party and people, though his term was filled with minor indiscretions and disagreements. On the other hand, Trump bullishly forced his way into interactions and seemed most worried about his needs in a trusted social network. This was clear through his presidency on the scale of corruption versus transparency. Neither are very popular, and their trajectory seems to be at the end of the road. But we'll have to see how things go, and whether we can pull a victory from so far behind. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll never miss a World Leader Cage Match! This has been Cage Match by Neapolitan, and we'll see you next time.